This one's gonna go up and go right along here. But then this bottom one, we need to shimmy that way a little bit so we can get that guy right here. Okay, the walls are all done. The two long walls are laying right here. Chicken wire is all on right here. The other two walls are along the garage door here. And we're gonna put all four together now. Okay, we have the joists going across up here. So now the next thing to do is we gotta, I think I have some one by threes in the house that we took down, um, you know, three years ago-ish, that we're gonna run this way now, and then and then, our, then we can put our metal on top. So that's our next two steps. Uh, run wood across this way, screw them down, and then try and put the metal across the top. Um, by the way, um, you maybe noticed I was using a corded drill there. The reason that was last night we went and got some metal um, from from some good friends, and I had taken I didn't know what we were gonna need, so I took along some flat bars, hammers, and then my drills because I didn't know if we'd have to maybe take out screws and stuff. And lo and behold, those are all in there. And at the moment, the truck is gone. So I, I was like, oh yeah, I got my corded drill. I could put my T25 in that. So that's what we did to finish this off. But hopefully the truck is back soon and then oh, cordless is a little bit better than holding up a corded drill. So uh, that's our next step. Step one slash A is now going to start now. Oh. I just measured from that side to this side with Genesis and we realized we didn't have 10 foot coming across it was like 11 and a quarter so Genesis and Eden are working on cutting the pieces of wood that are gonna go this way like I had just said um, but I need to cut off I'm cutting six inches off that side I already cut six inches off on the back side of me so then we're gonna have 10 foot going across because that is what we cut our metal at so 1A and B are getting done at the same time. And then we'll get the number two, which is putting metal on.
Last piece of metal is going on the roof. Okay, today has been metal day so far. So I started at the door right here and I cut off the opening rib so we'd have it nice and flat. And then as you can see, get myself out of the sun, we wrap the corner. So in that part I put a little piece of metal along the edge and then I bent up the corner. And there we go. So there's the front and again right here we, we did a piece of metal to along the edge we i put a piece of metal along the edge and then we clamped on the top and the bottom and then we bent it that's how we got this corner and then here would be a, a piece on piece so like a two and a half footer put to a two and a half footer and put a little screw in the center to hold it together and then we got a bunch of full ones here going along so now we're up to, so these are five foot pieces. Let me back up so you can see that. Okay. So five foot pieces. And then I will put a screw in here and here where, where we haven't had it this close because these are two foot and these are not all the same distance. We've had to add a little wood on the back side because you know we have these vertical seams and I felt like it was a little weak if I didn't put any wood on the back side, so we have added wood on the back side. Let me let me show you that on the back side. Here I'm standing in, in the inside, which would be the back side, and as you can see, I added wood right there on the seams because as you would be pushing on the metal, there was really no support. And if I swing around, you can sort of see like right there, we added a whole vertical one. Here's another vertical one, another vertical one. Um, so that way um, there was support on those seams. I believe if you went with a wider metal, this is a two foot metal. If you went with a wider metal, you know, then, then you, you would not have maybe that issue of where if you're pushing on the seams, you wouldn't have to add the wood. Um, but you know, it's all, we're pumped. It's all recycled metal off of a very old barn. And um, so now it's just taking us some time to, to um, um, I guess, straighten it, um, tweak some spots here and there. I will use a little bit of a, maybe a putty concoction to fill some holes where there's been nail holes or I don't know if something was thrown against the metal and just created a, a hole and we'll fill those holes as well. I have 
one piece left to go on the whole tin part and it's the part on the door. Decided to rain some again. So I'm right on the edge of the front of the garage here. So it'll be two cuts. Cut it for length and then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna put it on and then place the back side and cut it for width. So you're gonna do so you can do you can do one more like in the middle here. Well I Yeah I guess it's the let's think here. This is yeah, this is the top. Sure, you could put one more like in the middle here because remember there's a two inch you know it's that far in. Okay. You probably put one more there. One, two, three. And then here's the tape. Okay. You can do, you know, on that one you only have, only well, I guess you know, maybe like right there, every eight inches going okay. down. Okay. I'm gonna see how far the hinges are apart. Okay. So. That's what I want. I want the roof to leak off the edge and not inside. And it's tilted, even though it doesn't have a slant on the roof. All right, so what I am doing now is we're almost ready to put the door on. We just added the hinges. This is gonna go on the door. And so piece, piece, piece. Okay, so this will go together, be on the door. And then I'm gonna put one of these right here. So I actually might make it a one by seven and a half instead of a one by eight. And then what will happen is a piece of wood will sit on top here and go like this. Actually, the piece of wood won't sit on there. This piece of hook wood will go, will spin and go like that. And get caught like this in between and then the door will be locked. So that's what I'm in the process of making. So I need to cut one more of these. So it looks like actually maybe one, maybe I'll cut it to seven and three quarter because of my screw. And then I just need to make the swinging point yet. Do that and then we're gonna do the door. Oh. Well, you guys might be wondering what's up with this wood. It's just not regular one by wood. Well, again, this is reused wood from the house we took down a number of years ago. And so I just cut off the groove part there. And I don't know, maybe this was the tongue. I don't know, lips, tongue maybe, I'm not sure. Anyways, I had to cut that off the edge. So now here's my other board that goes with these guys. So now I just need to make the swinging part for right there. Ooh, my piece of wood is in the right spot. I made it shorter. Oh. A little hammer action to snug it up on my screws. And as you can see, Right behind here I have an extra piece of wood. So now I'm gonna screw this onto here. And then I'll probably two screws and two screws. There we go. Okay, so start turning. Yep. You may have to use the other hand. And it's just you got that. 
And then eventually line up the holes. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna have to pull that out and then. Okay. There we go. I think we're gonna leave that one because we can't get in. All right, now we can do the latch, right?